In this video, I'm going to walk you through how you can connect something like AnyDen to ChatGPT using ChatGPT's new developer mode feature. In my last video, I walked you through exactly what that feature is, how to use it and install it, and how to use something like Zapier MCP as well as individual MCP servers. Hooking up AnyDen's MCP server is almost as easy if you know exactly where to click and where to go. But it can come with limitations, so in this video I'll walk you through the setup, how to use it, how to test it, and most importantly, where it might fail. Let's dive in. Alright, if we go into ChatGPT in developer mode, we'll click on the plus button right here. We'll then click on more, then developer mode, and then we'll get this drop down right here. Now, as of yesterday, I have the Zapier MCP and I have the Fireflies MCP. But what I can do is click on connect more to add a brand new server. And this one we'll call AnyDen. Let's say test. And then this MCP server we have to get from AnyDen itself. So in a fresh session, we can go into here, click on MCP trigger, click on that. And then the one that you need to use as a server is your production URL. So if we click on this and then copy it, and if we zoom in here, I'll just add a tool. So we'll just use calendar because it's easy and straightforward. We'll hook that up. We will save. And then one very important thing for you to do is make sure that this is set to active. If it is not set to active, it won't work. So let me just actually resolve whatever's wrong here. Let me add this, save it. Perfect. We'll do active again. And now that it's active, if I paste this right here, and I click on trust this application. We don't need authentication or OAuth. So set this to no authentication. Once you're good to go there, click on create. And if it does work, it should work within five to 10 seconds. This will disappear and we'll be able to see it in our drop down. So we'll click on add sources. And now you can see right here we have AnyDen test. And obviously you have to toggle it on, but what we'll use today is a ready-made version of this MCP setup that I can just walk you through how to use and most importantly, how to debug. So in this case, I added the brand new URL. We'll click on create right here. So now that it's set up, I will just click on this, toggle it to on, then go back to our workflow. And you see we have a few tools. We have the create event. We have the get all event and we have a get a single event in Google Calendar, but only two are connected right now. The reason why is I wanted to show you how you add a new tool after the fact. So if we go back into GPT, I could say something like, can you go and see what's on my calendar this coming Monday, September 22nd, 2025, please using the NADN tool. Now you don't necessarily have to say the NADN tool. I want to make sure it's not N tool. And it should be able to now go and make that connection, see what tools are available, then pick the right tool. So right now we have the look for available tools. If we click on this, you can always spy and see what's happening. Now it's going to ask me for permission to make this specific request. And then assuming it's correct, sometimes it's not correct, by the way, it will go and look for UTM time versus EST, PST or whatever time zone you're in. So you want to make sure you, that you actually audit this. If I click on remember for this conversation, I'll click on confirm. It should be able to now call the tool really quickly in five to 10 seconds. And once we actually send the request, you can see right here, it's called the tool. It's going to sometimes think shorter, sometimes longer, but it should be pretty quick. You can see right here, it comes back with my schedule. That is indeed my schedule, pretty light on Monday. And after that, we can also use the other tool. Okay, cool. On that same day, could you add a 10 a.m. EST meeting that's called test MCP server? And then it should be able to go check those tools again and then add that to our calendar. All right, if we zoom in here, we've successfully added it to the calendar. So let's try to add new tools. So if we go back to the server. We'll just hook up this tool and this tool. Once in a while, you'll see that some tools don't work on the first try. So Appify, the first time I tried it, refused no matter what I tried. So I had disconnected it, added a new connection, and then eventually it worked. So let's see what happens this time. So if I go back into here, to refresh the tools that the server has access to, we'll go into settings, then go into connectors, we'll go to the AnyDen demo, and then all I have to do is click on refresh right here, and then within 5 to 10 seconds, if it works, we should be able to see two new events here. We should see get event and an Appify event. So there you go, there's an error saying error refreshing actions, and usually it doesn't give you a reason why this is happening. So if I go into here, everything looks straightforward. And I'll notice that sometimes if I just sever the connection to a more exotic app and I refresh, it works fine. 
but then other times it doesn't work. So it's a bit finicky and buggy in the way it works right now. So if you encounter this, you can see right there, we now got the get events. And now if I go and try to hook up the next one right here and then click on save and then go back to refresh, it may or may not work. So if we just wait for it, there we go, it's not working. So I would say compared to the two methods I showed yesterday, this is definitely not foolproof yet, but you can bring in some of the more common tools from what I've seen the easy way. Now, one more thing I wanted to try was adding the agent tool because I thought this would be really cool in terms of applications. But if you bring this over here, I'm gonna try to speed run adding any form of model. Let's just add Gemini here, okay? Now, one thing that's annoying is it's hard to see from even executions, if you could see right here, exactly what's coming through the MCP trigger. So it's hard to carry any form of variable in memory to make sure you can properly map exactly what you're looking for here. So if you go back into ChatGPT and refresh, this is something that this should be able to pick up, the agent tool, but when it actually is used in production, it doesn't really do much. So if I go back into here and click on developer mode, so I send this request that says, okay, can you go use the agent tool to check the calendar tool associated with the agent tool send an actual request in the form of maybe a JSON saying, please check the calendar. Now, by design, I don't actually have the check a calendar. We just have a create event. So I wanted to see if it would tell me whether or not it knows that there's no tool there. Now, if it goes and sends a request, it actually goes and calls the tool multiple times. Behind the scenes, if you spy on what it actually did, is it realized it couldn't access that tool. So then it accessed the tool it has right here which again is not wrong in terms of the end result, but it did tell me that it used the agent to get it. So it's a bit misleading on that side. Now, once it gave me the response, I then said create an event on a random day out of that slot, but use the agent specifically to do it. And then it calls the tool, you can see right here on the specific request. And then when, we, when it goes and says it's created the working session, if we go back to any then and spy on exactly what it did, it didn't actually use the agent. It used this tool right here. So if we removed that, I would imagine, just like a few of the other tests I've done, you'd get this blank request with no response whatsoever. Overall, compared to the other ways you can connect the connectors to ChatGPT, I would say the N8N version is not the most bug-free yet. It'll probably be better in the future. But for now, other than the transactional tools that you can add, like the Google calendars and Gmails of the world, which in my opinion, aren't worth adding because they're natively available in ChatGPT, and it is kind of lacking in terms of the connection ability. If that was helpful for you, then let me know down in the comments below. And if you like content like this every single day with tons of more advanced tutorials, check out the first link in the description. I'll see you in the next one.